Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel guys. Guys, if you're new to this channel and you know what I'm gonna ask you to do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And guys, if you're not a member of the Chatterbox, you can join by clicking the link in the description bar. It is $1.99 to join. You do have to be at least 18 years to join. And the perks to that is to be in the first to know and also um, live streams, um, exclusive live stream, um, and some exclusive videos uh, just for the chatterbox. Okay, and if you're not going to join that, make sure you follow me also on Instagram where I share lots of photos of the babies up close and personal. My Instagram is Miss Serenity underscore Smith. And also, if you want to follow my blog, my blog is Miss Serenity Smith Babies.com. So today I'm here with Memphis, and Memphis is painted by me. Um, one day he will be rooted, but he is not. He's a bald baby right now. And he is my little fat chunk, um, although he's still a baby baby. And I've been struggling to get him out of this outfit. He's been wearing it for over, well, at least a week, I think. Um, not going to put him on much else, but I'm going to change his diaper. And then I'm going to pick one of these to go with him. I'm trying to see. I really like him in this goldy color. Ah, he looks good in the blue, too. Uh, I'm not going to do gray. So it's either going to be this color, this color. I don't know that I like that color. It's either going to be this color or the blue. So let's get him stripped down first. We're going to take his hat off so he's going to be bald. And I love this little hat. I, I caught this hat um, on sale from H&M one time and if you guys haven't noticed i shop the h&m a lot <laughs> um i think this onesie though that says i look up to auntie is old navy so the most places i shop for my babies is um old navy h&m carters and yeah that's the main places i have a few little one-off places here and there but that's that's the main places where I um, shop. Um, Sometimes I do Baby Gap, but those are the places where I shop. And a lot of times I mostly shop clearance and um, out of season stuff. Sometimes just because you can get it a lot cheaper. Oh, also guys, um, these Quattle bottles, um, a lot of people was looking for them True Born on Facebook has some for sale. Um, I think she sold about 10. She said she had put in another order for more of them. So if you guys were looking to get the baby quaddle bottle, she has them. They were like, um, they're like $33 a piece. I don't know if that includes shipping or not, but they're not cheap. Um, normally you get the two pack for like 60 bucks or something like that. So I know they're not cheap because I know that's about what I paid for mine um, off of a friend. So, yeah. So, anyway, just thought I would share that because I know a lot of people was wanting them for props. And they do make good props. Um, as soon as she posted it, I had tagged one of the, um, my dolly... Uh, sis in the community I tagged them because I was like I know she had just asked me about the bottle so I was like let me tag her so she don't miss it and she still didn't see my tag so I think she missed it anyway but I tried <laughs> I tried I tried I tried so um one thing and I know I told y'all this before he is my my new favorite sculpt pretty much I just love this sculpt I do I really do you know, sometimes sculptors will surprise you with something that really catches your eye. Um, lots of stuff coming up. Lots of different people um, coming out with silicone babies and silicone kits, which is interesting um, and cool because I am looking for some fresh blood. <laughs> that makes sense. Some fresh faces, some new faces, some new... You know different styles just to what you guys think if y'all pick 
whatever y'all pick if it's not the same that I pick I will put it on him the next time and take pictures but I like the gold that I like the blue of course I like the darker colors on him this one I don't know that it really complements his skin tone because I think it kind of does a lot with I don't know if it's clashing with some of his undertones or what for me but it's not giving me that oh my god actually none of these colors really are but oh I like that though even though I said I wasn't gonna like that one uh which one Puka I don't know I think I'm gonna go with the bright color let's see we're gonna go with this one see what happens you know, Puka, I know. I don't want to put you on blue. I'm with a blue background. Let's see. I just, um, and so, like, for instance, um, there are a lot of kits coming out as well. I'm not doing pre orders anymore. I, I, I mean, I don't want to talk nobody against pre-orders. I'm not talking against pre-orders. But I'm just not just not feeling the pre-order thing too much anymore. Unless it's a limited edition, I just can't, I just can't be bothered. <laughs> but I think I need not to be that way because I think a lot of times they have to, you know, do the pre-orders to, you know, get the kit to, you know, to see an interest in the kit to produce the kit, I think. So I don't know. Maybe they need the pre-order. Maybe a sculptor will explain that to us one day. Maybe they need us to pre-order in order to, you know, pay for the production of the kit. I don't know. So I don't want to talk against it. You know, some, of course, I'll go ahead and pre-order. But I'm just tired of it. It's just it's too many coming out at one time for me to just keep pre-ordering every, um, every single kit. And that's, that's my, my thing. It's like... If I keep pre-ordering every single um, kit, hang on, baby, turn this way, maybe. Yeah, if I keep pre-ordering every single kit, it's like, then when they all are ready to be paid for, if I don't pay them all in full, you know, I, I got three, four, five hundred dollar bills that I gotta pay for just blank kits. It's just, it's just too much. And then you don't know when they're going to come in. And it's just, I'm just over it. Um, so I'm waiting on, of course, my Benjamins from Natalie Blick. I'm waiting on my Aspens. Um, I'm waiting on, I don't know, I think that might be it. I am going to probably order the Cameron Follower to the Ross. And... The only ones that was not a um was not a limited edition but um is which may end up not being a whole lot um still is the Aspen and Abby because she said she was gonna order them as long as there's a, a desire for them. So if they slow down on selling and stuff, she may just say, Okay, that's it, edition closed. You know, so um so I will, I did order those to make sure, plus I did the prototype, so I definitely support, but I, um, I ordered, yeah, I ordered those because of that, and then the, um, the limited editions, um, the Laura Tudor Ross Baby is a limited edition, and you know, Natalie Blake stuff always sell out, so anytime she has something going on if i think by any chance i might want to paint it <laughs> i i've learned to go ahead and order it because i missed out on a few because i decided i was just not that interested in the things sold out and that was that look at these big white socks oh child that's so tacky um but we don't i'm gonna leave it like that because um Oh, you could put on some little white hard bottom shoes. Uh-uh, not with no onesie. We doing too much. And then you need a little hat, but I ain't bringing no hat. But that's okay. 
Mocha. Mocha Luca. What you gonna do? He looks so cute though. <laughs> I don't care. I love this baby. Um, let's see. So we gotta zoom in so you guys can see him up close. Them little fat little legs. I love his little fat little legs. Look at it. Oh, wait. While we got it close, let me show you his feet. I love his feet. His feet. Say, Mama, why you take do all that to take my, I don't know if y'all can see, but. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, okay, okay. Let me put your socks back on. Child, this was not the smartest idea to get these bulky socks, but I thought it was at the time when I went and grabbed them. I was like, yeah, white socks go in anything. Maybe I shouldn't flip them down. Mm -hmm. But anyway. Oh, <laughs> sorry. All y'all see is that. But anyway, so whew, I hope you guys are having a good day. I done turned this heat down. Babe, I got to get this heat back up. Um, I hope everybody also, just a quick thing, I do want to include this in here. It's non-doll related, but I hope everybody is working on their health. I know for me, I'm definitely trying to work on my health, drink plenty of water, um, eat things that help build your immune system. I want you guys to take this pandemic serious. It is still real. It's still going on. I know we can't all live in a bubble for the rest of our lives. I know there's different sides of, you know, um, who's, you know, you know, wearing the mask, not wearing the mask type thing. I personally wear my mask when I go out. Um, I don't go out as much as I used to. I don't like crowded spaces. Um, with a whole bunch of people I didn't like it anyway before the pandemic just more reason for me not to be around a lot of people but um I definitely um believe that we do need to work on our immune systems and stuff like that and I'm I'm definitely trying to work on mine um I'm back walking I walked I only walked two times last week but I'm gonna walk um at least three to four times this week um me and Gabby, we get out, you know, get some sun and stuff and just, you know, trying to get some vitamin D in us, natural vitamin D. And just, you know, just like I said, the elderberry, um, lemon water, um, whatever. I'm not telling you guys what to do. Whatever works for you, you know, more vegetables, you know, um, fruits and all that great jazz just so that your system is healthy. Um, I don't want to get in no debate of um the vaccinated and non-vaccinated is just not my I don't I don't like the politics I don't like to talk about that stuff it's a personal choice you know feel how you feel do what you got to do we're all you know we're all taking a chance um one way or the other no matter which decision you make but I just feel like definitely regardless whether you are vaccinated or not vaccinated definitely um trying to work on your health so my biggest thing is my diet what i eat that is the biggest thing plus i want to lose weight so that's my biggest thing for me and um you know just staying active very active and like i said drinking plenty plenty of water flushing my little system and stuff that's you know washing your hands constantly keeping your house clean wipe down your car you you know you know just just taking that that extra step if you don't all if you're not a person that was already doing it anyway you know now is the time so um yeah so i am actually prepping um gabby's i've been working on reorganizing her room setting up her her desk space and stuff i order her in a lot of different gadgets and stuff because her room is going to be her room slash classroom because i opted out in sending her back to school um, so she will be schooling again this year. So it'll be more like homeschooling. So I had to actually, um, take her out of her homeschool. So it's, it's going to be, um, you know, it's going to be a busy year for me. I've made a lot of life changes, um, here recently. And so, um, that's why, like I said, I really, 
have been trying to be focused on, you know, the things that I need to do. But um, I, I have to stay focused to where um, I will be working from home, like, um, full time. So I need to be really focused. So if you guys don't hear from me or I'm not, like, as chatty as normal, don't think it's you. Just know that it's just me probably just really trying to get a grip of everything. Like, you know, when things change and you have to go through changes in your life, you really... Um, it's an adjustment. Some people adjust well to change. I'm one of those people. I'm a creature by habit and I like the same routine every single day. Um, so when something changes, it kind of throws me off a little bit and takes me a little bit to get in a rhythm. But I think we're going to adapt okay. But I got to be prepared to be very hands on with her because she is, Gabby is going into the third grade, guys. I can't believe it. And, um, I already was failing um, second grade math, so I, I think I'm going to sit in class with her a few times when they do math <laughs> because I need to learn. Oh my gosh. So anyway, so that's going to be a new challenge for me. So, um, so yeah, so that's, that's that. Um, but I'm really excited about the different changes that I've been doing with her room and Getting her set up is like, dang, her my desk is really small. And then and then Gabby got the big nice desk. I'm like, this looks very opposite and wrong. But I don't spend as much time at my desk as I do um as she will be. So that's that. So anyway, guys, I hope that you guys, like I said, have a wonderful, wonderful day, whatever day this is that this video is uploaded. I hope that you guys stay safe. Guys. I'm going to ask you, I am going to ask you one thing, if you would, and I know this is non doll related, but if you listen this far, if you would comment below some of the, um, like natural, uh, things that you are eating or whatever to boost your immune system, um, I would love to, to just, you know, just hear that in the comment section, some of the things that you guys are doing. So I'm always into researching different things like that, so... Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.